Greg, how are you? Hello, good. Hi, George with Latino Review. Nice to meet you. So you got this new movie, Life As We Know It. Life As We Know It. Okay, where was the shot out, for, first of all? It was shot in Atlanta. In Atlanta. Uh -huh. So the whole film takes place in Atlanta, or that's just uh, yeah, where you actually, shot it? we did Atlanta for Atlanta. Okay, why, why the choice to go to Atlanta think, to shoot uh, that? Well, yeah, you know, uh, it felt right environmentally for the film. Uh -huh. uh, there were certain, you know, it was a little cheaper to make it there, so that was good. Right. Uh, but it also totally fit the film in terms of the time of year we were making it, that we could really get all the seasons in uh, without having it to be too dramatic or too cold or too hot, you know. Do you consider this more of a drama or more of a, like, a romantic comedy? I think, you know, I mean, I, I, it definitely blends both tones. Yeah. But there's a lot of comedy in it, so I, I would say romantic dramedy. A romantic to, dramedy? To use the lingo of the business. Like yeah. something that, me, that that you think guys would be attracted to go see without their think, girlfriends, you know, I, I, dragging yeah, them to... I definitely think. I think yeah. anybody who's been a parent, uh -huh. uh, which is very universal, obviously, you know, will identify with large, large sections of this film. And can you give me just a brief synopsis on what it's about? Yeah, I mean, yeah, because it's about, we don't know anything, really. go on a blind date at the beginning of the movie. It's a horrible, a horrible blind date set up. And then within 10 minutes, are end up raising a kid together due to some unforeseen circumstances. And so they have to connect and, and try to... to raise it, and it chronicles the first year of them raising a child and how they sort of, uh, everything they go through and how they fall in love. So there are a lot of dramatic moments then yeah, for this. And, okay. And also very, very comedic. And you're also, uh, you produce and wrote Green Lantern. Yes, I did. Shooting right now. Shooting right now. Started on Monday. Uh-huh. And, so, and so when you were writing that... Yes. Did Warner Brothers want to have other thoughts about maybe putting in other cameos from other, you know, just for yeah, future movies talked, because they want to look down the exactly, line? Exactly, yeah. No, we had, we had talked about that, and uh, I think, uh, you know, they're obviously trying to keep it a surprise. And so, sure. Uh, but, yeah, it's definitely been discussed, and I think that's important. Is it difficult so writing universe, Is it difficult writing something? I don't want to say space opera, but, like, something yeah, so was, big. No, no, it was very daunting in that way. Uh, I had two other writers who I worked with, uh, Michael Green and Mark Guggenheim, who I worked with in both. I worked quite a deal with in television yeah. before, and so we had a real shorthand. But it was uh, it was really challenging, but very, very exciting. I would say the biggest challenge might be getting the hardcore fan to accept it, and yeah. a casual guy like me who just, I read comics, but not Green Lantern, getting yes. into that world. Yeah, it's very universal. I mean, he was... You know, Hal Jordan was sort of uh, uh, maverick before Top Gun. You know? uh -huh. So there are there were elements that are very identifiable about him, and I think it was highlighting those so that it's true so that anybody can sort of uh, you know engage in the movie, but it would be rewarding for the comic book fans as well. Would you say this is more of a darker tone like Dark Knight or more of a lighter tone sort of like Iron Man? I mean, uh, you know, uh, it really has both. I'm not trying to say it both ways, but it's, you know, obviously yeah. the, it's, it's, you know, of all the superheroes across the board in Marvel and in, in DC, Hal Jordan was the most famous one that went off the planet. Mm -hmm. So I think the, the element about it that's really the, uh, the most exciting is, is the space element, you know, cool. which uh, hasn't been in one of these films before. Great. Uh, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thanks for your time. Bye.